What's going on guys? The perfect beginner fly does exist. And not only is it a fish catch magnet, you only need two materials. Here it is. It's the raccoon by Skip Morris. This thing's great for trout, bass, you catch steelhead and salmon on it. It's actually really good for coho. And if you're just starting out, you don't have to go spend a whole bunch on materials. You get yourself some dubbing and some hen hackle, a couple different colors. You could tie up a wide variety of these guys. And uh, if you're not quite sure it's for you yet, you don't have to go bust an arm and a leg on materials. Spend an arm and a leg, whatever I'm saying. But it's easy to tie, works great, and I'm excited to show you guys how to tie it up. So let's get to it. All right, so we got our hook with a bead on it, put on the vise, and we're just going to start our thread on the shank and make a nice base. Then next, we're going to grab our hen hackle. Now we've got our really light webby fibers here. We've got our stiff hackle fibers up here and then right in the middle we got a little section there that's a little bit of the in between what we're going to do is we're going to take off the really light webby stuff at the end we're going to separate right here and on each side one at a time we're going to peel those back this is going to be our tail off the same hackle that we're going to use for the neck so we'll just grab those little fibers in tie them in We grab our hackle again, and we're going to pull those ones off. Next, we're going to grab some dubbing. Got some mohair here. It's got a little bit of flash in it. You can do a dubbing loop, or like I'm doing, you can just grab your dubbing. I'm going to ball it up a bit. And just wrap it with your fingers on your thread. You can leave this kind of messy. You want it attached to your thread, wrapped around there, but leave it a bit messy. Just like that, and then we're gonna start spooling it around our hook. You wanna start at the back and work your way to the front. If you get part way up, don't have enough, just add a little more dubbing. Keep going. I actually like to add it a little bit fatter at the front here. There we go. Kind of tapers up a little bit. Now that same hen hackle, I like to grab it, take off just these like little extra longer ones. Then we're going to grab our feather by the stem. We're going to place it in there. We're going to do one or two wraps. And we're just going to Adjust it to make sure it's sitting right. There we go. It could be a little off center, but you want it close for sure. To help it stop slipping, you're going to go back and forth both the way in a crisscross or figure eight a couple times. So really help it not slip out of there. Trim it off. You can use your fingertips or hackle pliers. I like the hackle pliers. Grab the hackle at the tip. Fan it out a bit. And do three or four wraps around. Grab your thread. Couple of crisscrosses back and forth. Put 
Grab your scissors and trim that feather off at the base. I like to pull it away from the other hackle so that you don't catch it. Then we're going to whip finish it and that is done. That's it, the Skip Morris Raccoon. Little fish catcher. Right on, guys. If you have any questions, you can just drop me a comment there. I'll uh, answer you best I can, and happy tying. Weehaw!